touch the ball. Slide left the ball. Slide right the ball. Point the ball. Push the ball. Nearly. Nearly, I cut nearly. Pull the ball. Good effort. Once again, maybe, hmm? Pull the ball. That's better. Okay, you wanna do some reaching, grasping and lifting? Reach the ball. Reach the ball. Interesting. Grasp the ball. Lift the ball. Touch the car. Slide right the spiky. Spiky is the blue ball. Okay, how about the hammer? Hmm? Hammer. Touch the hammer. Touch the hammer. Touch the hammer. No, not really. I cup. Are you blind? Hmm? Touch the hammer. That's better. Well done. How about slide left the cup? Slide left the cup. Push the tractor. It's too much stuff I cup. Too many toys. Ah. 
you like the tractor, huh? And the bus? You like the bus? You just don't care about the bus, do you? Until I tell you, right? Slide right the bus. Slide right the bus. <laughs> oh well, nearly. Reach the tractor. Here and hammer. Reach the hammer. <laughs> no. Again, reach the hammer. Grasp the cup. Grasp the cup. Well, and all these actions, nine actions, they all work with, uh, with all these nine objects. And this was just a kind of initial testing with the speech recognition system. So I'm telling iCAP what actions to do on what objects, and then he can, well, there is a simple um, vision system that can then um, filter out everything else but the actual objects uh, of interest. So, and it's all kind of hooked together with the multiple time scales, recurrent neural network, and yeah, so far so good. iCAP, touch the hammer. Touch the hammer. Touch the hammer. He doesn't see the hammer at the moment because he wasn't in the field of view, but um, now when I say it again, it's, he's going to understand because he's looking at the hammer already. I can say, touch the spiky. Touch the spiky. And you see the vision change. He discovered the right object and is reaching for it. If I move the spiky anywhere, he's like keeping an eye on him. If it's close to the hammer in the field of vision, I can say, reach the hammer. Reach the hammer. Wait. Reach the hammer. He's now look at the hammer and he's doing the appropriate action. Basically, wherever I move these, um, these toys, he's um, going to be able to execute the action correctly on any place. Um, if it's on the left side, he's going to do it with the left hand. If it's on the right side, he's going to do it with the right hand. All, all of the motors of the iCAP are controlled, including all the fingers. So, for example, if I give him mm, back the ball, the green ball, he's still looking at the hammer, but I can um, give it to him back. Okay. Touch the ball. Touch the ball. He discovered the ball. He's going to touch it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to do lift the ball and um, basically he should be able to understand. Okay, no. Lift the ball. And you can see the fingers, right? All the fingers are moving 
and it's controlled by, by the neural network, MTRNN. Reach the tractor. Reach the tractor. He knows the tractor now. And he's gonna reach for it. That's all. Okay, that's enough for the experiment updates. The little mug is running um, speech recognition software, Dragon Dictate. The iCub is connected to, to the power supplies that are just there under the floor to keep the noise down. And this is me with the, with the microphone, pretty good one. And this is the iCub, still staring at the object. This is the PC-104 with lots of cables. Okay, that's it.